For hundreds of years, mathematicians have been fascinated by irrational numbers. In this video, we're going to prove that there are three irrational numbers on this board, but I'm not going to be able to prove that any particular one is irrational because, well, it's still an open question. Now, in my previous videos, I've shown you pi is irrational, I've shown you e is irrational, I've shown you ln 2 is irrational, e to the power of p, where p is an integer, is irrational. But these are just, at the moment, beyond the scope of current mathematicians. No one currently knows how to even approach um, proving this is irrational. So, the idea behind this video is we're going to show that no pair from the above can both be rational. We're going to do this by assuming a pair is both rational, so pi plus e and pi minus e are rational. When I'm going to find a contradiction, that then means they both can't be rational at the same time. The consequence of this, because no pair can be rational, then at most only one of them is rational. The facts we're going to make use of are down here. With I've proven these in my other videos, so I'll put them in the description so you can check them out. Um, but let's get cracking into it. Okay, so the first case, pi plus e and pi minus e are rational. Well, if they were rational, then their sum would be rational. So pi plus e plus pi minus e must be a rational number. So it's in the set of rationals. Well, if we calculate the sum, we get 2 pi, which is clearly not in the rational numbers. So we get that a number that's rational is equal to an irrational number. So we get our first contradiction. So the next case, pi plus e and pi over e are rational. Now, a rational number multiplied by an irrational number is irrational. So let's consider pi plus e multiplied by 1 over e. Now, this is irrational because e is irrational. Um, it's a quite an easy task to show that 1 divided by an irrational number is also irrational. Uh, you may choose to try to prove that quite an easy task um, but yeah so pi plus e times 1 over e must therefore not be in the rational numbers now if I expand this I get pi over e plus e over e which is 1 so I get a rational number plus a rational number so this therefore must be a rational number which is a contradiction so pi plus e and pi over e can't both be rational numbers. Now the next one is exactly the same as what we just did. We're going to assume pi minus e and pi over e are rational. Instead of multiplying pi plus e by 1 over e, we're going to do pi minus e. And in this case, we show an irrational number is the same as a rational number. So exactly the same as that previous case. Next, let's consider if pi e and pi over e are both rational. Well, that means that the product of two rational numbers are is still rational. So pi e times pi over e will still be a rational number, or at least it should be. Now when we expand this, we get pi squared. And if you see my video on why pi is irrational, we first proved that pi squared was irrational, and that then proved that pi must also be irrational. So pi squared is not in the rational numbers. So we get a contradiction again. Now, for the final two cases, the proof is practically identical. So we're going to assume that pi plus e and pi e are rational numbers. Now, before we get started, um, we need to define what does algebraic mean. Algebraic means that the number is a solution to a polynomial with rational coefficients. So if pi plus e and pi e are rational, by definition, they must be algebraic numbers because x minus pi plus e well this would have a root that is pi plus e and pi plus e is rational so the coefficients are rational so this is an algebraic function which means this is an algebraic number so important thing to just bear in mind next what we're going to do is we're going to square pi plus e and we're going to subtract 4 pi e. Now, this here is rational. This here is rational. A combination of the two must also be rational. 
which means that pi minus e squared, which is what this is equal to, if you expand this out, you get pi minus e squared, must also be a rational number. Now, you might think that where I'm going with this is this implies that pi minus e is rational. Well, that's not necessarily true because 2 is a rational number, but square root of 2, quite easily shown, is not rational. So what am I going to do? Well, because this is a rational number, it's a algebraic number. So we can consider x squared minus pi minus e squared. It has solutions pi minus e and e minus pi. Why is this useful? Well, these two numbers are the solution of a polynomial with rational coefficients. What that means is, by definition, they are algebraic numbers. So, pi minus e plus pi plus e, by the way, both are algebraic numbers, must be algebraic. Because the sum of an algebraic number must be an algebraic number. But, well, this is equal to 2 pi, and pi is not algebraic. And we get our contradiction. So then we can finally assume that pi minus e and pi e are rational. We can do exactly the same trick as we saw in the previous case. This shows that pi plus e is algebraic. So pi minus e plus pi plus e is algebraic because pi minus e is rational, which means it's algebraic. But this is equal to 2 pi, and 2 pi is not algebraic. So we get a contradiction. Um, so what we've done is we've proven that every pair of these four numbers cannot both simultaneously be rational. So even without doing any very complicated maths, we've proven that at least three of these numbers are irrational. We just haven't proven that any in particular are irrational, which I think is a pretty interesting way of proving something because um, we've kind of proven nothing, but at the same time, we've proven lots of stuff.